Time to drop another bombshell. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Super 7 Transformers Ultimates Bombshell. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front here, we have a lovely image of Bombshell. His name is Bombshell. On this side, we have Decepticon. On this side, we have Bombshell up top. Ultimates on the bottom, just words, things, barcodes. On the back, Decepticon symbol, and we can remove the slip cover here. And you can see the nice colorful packaging here, Transformers, Bombshell. On the back, we have his tech specs, if that interests you. And that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have Bombshell, the next figure in this first wave of Super 7 Transformers Ultimates. And this is based on his Action Masters look, so that's why it doesn't look as G1-y as the other two we've seen so far. Yeah, based on his Action Master figure, which I quite like, but let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his chest, at his noggin. There's the noggin. You got some nice green there for the eyes. Silver there for the mouth plate. You got some silver up there as well. The Decepticon symbol on the chest. You got some orange and purple and silver there on the chest. Silver on the arms. You just got some black. Got some gray there on the thighs. Purple and black on the legs. Got some orange feet with black heels. And moving up the back. You got the bombshell booty. And just little bits of detail right there. And yeah, very invocative of his Action Master's self. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you do have your wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down a little bit more. Uh, as far as rotation, that's pretty much as far as you can get before his mouth plate collides with his shoulder. Um, you do have arm rotation, can do a full 360. Outward movement, that's all you're getting. Just that little bit there. Yeah, um, you do have bicep rotation. You do have uh, slightly under 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. Um, you do have rotation at the elbow itself. Uh, you have wrist rotation. You also have a hinge that allows the hand to move in and outward. You have waist rotation. You have an ab crunch there. So you can move forward, move back some. Legs can go forward about that far, back that far, outward. You can do almost the full splits. Squeaky thigh rotation, yet 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And as far as the feet go, they can move up a little bit, move down a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of ankle tiltage. And also, one thing to note is that his feet are rubber. Now, as far as accessories go, you do get some optional hands. The ones that come installed are the closed fists, but you get a pair of weapon holding hands these have more of a uh, more of a wide grip and uh, the right hand here does have a hinge that allows it to move up and down as opposed to in and out this one can move in and outward so you get two of those and then you get these hands which have like a slightly more closed grip these you can use to hold the weapons also but you really have to stretch those fingers out to make them work so i kind of don't get the point of these but okay you also get weaponry, you get his uh, traditional G1 styled blaster there, just cast all in gray, but a nice mold. And you also get the short burst stinger rifle, and this is a weapon that was included with the Action Master bombshell. Again, just done all in gray, like so. And you also get Needler. You get Needler here, a little Needler. This Action Master buddy here, done all in green. It's a nice detail. Molded in here. Legs cast in black. Little booty spikes cast in black. Um, articulation wide, the head's on a ball joint, so you can kind of wiggle waggle that around. You have a hinge there, allows it to move up and down some, so you can get a little bit of expression out of little needler there um you can store needler if you want on bombshells back there is a port right back here you can take needler just plug him right on you can kind of bring the head up also things you can do if you want to do it hey go ahead and do them as always it's your toy display it however you wish 
And of course, you can have him wielding his weapons, or you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. Those handles are really thick, though, and you can see they really stretch those fingers out. So, yeah, I don't know why they made those handles so thick, but a hey, it is what it is. He can still hold them, though. Now, height wise, he does measure in at about seven and a half inches tall, so he is a pretty sizable figure. And for comparison, uh, here he is with Earthrise Prime. As so you can get a sense of the scale there. And here he is with G1 Bombshell because he's precious. Oh, so precious. No, I don't have an Action Masters Bombshell. This is all, it's all I got. And here he is with his Wave Mates. Here he is with Prime. And with Ghost Screamer. So, there you go. So there you have Ultimate's Bombshell. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a decent figure. Nothing spectacular, nothing mind-blowing here. You know, it is what it is, but, you know, it's not horrible. Articulation definitely could be better, especially in the arms. Just You just have no real outward movement, and that really limits your posability. I don't know why they made the handles on the guns so thick, because it really stretches out those fingers. I don't know. That doesn't seem like a good idea. I do appreciate that we're getting an updated representation of Action Master's bombshell. I think that's quite cool. So again, yeah, nothing amazing, nothing mind-blowing here, but, you know, it's a decent figure to have on the shelf on display, so... There you go! Now, if you would like this or any of Super 7's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my Transformers Ultimates playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Super 7 Transformers Ultimates Bombshell, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Boom in your face! Ah, Starscream, there you are. Seriously? Listen, I have a favor to ask of you since you're here. Can you watch over Needler for me for a little while? But I, I'm a ghost, you fool! I don't do babysitting anymore! It'll just be for a little while. It's okay. You won't really have to do anything. He pretty much takes care of himself. I don't believe this. The level of disrespect. I could get... Oh, uh oh, oh, I, I'm, I'm a ghost. How is this even possible? Oh.